Hey everyone, Brandon from Glorious, where we focus on goals, gains, and giveaways. Today we're going to learn about what is an NFT or non fungible token. But before we do this, remember before you invest in any NFT, do your own research and figure out if that project is for you. So, this is part of my crypto education series where I'm teaching you guys about the crypto space. I know a bunch of you are new uh, and ask a bunch of questions uh, about cryptocurrency and about NFTs. So, I figured to do like a general overview on what an NFT is and kind of teach you guys all about it. Um, but uh, there's also other videos I'm releasing on how to buy NFTs, sell NFTs, trade NFTs. So, um, if you haven't watched those, uh, keep your eye out for those in the upcoming week. But uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. What is an NFT? So what is an NFT? So NFT stands for non-fungible token. An NFT is a digital asset that represents real world objects like art, music, in-game items, and videos. Yes, it could mean any of those objects. Uh, it doesn't have to be art. Obviously, uh, the most popular ones are, um, you know, physical, like an image or like a GIF. Those are the ones that you've probably seen, but it could actually represent anything. It could be a song, it could be something in a video game. Uh, it really could be pretty much anything. Anything that someone wants to make an NFT on, they can. Uh, people have NFT'd. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that's an official term. Uh, like a tweet. Uh, I think the founder of uh, Twitter was the one that did that. Uh, like his first tweet or something like that. But a tweet can literally be anything. And the value of it really depends um, on uh, what, you know, the community thinks, right? Uh, the person that's making the NFT could obviously set a price. But uh, that price can obviously change over time depending on, on the value of that um, NFT. So a lot of people invest in NFTs because they think um, the values obviously go up. So think of it as uh, obviously an investment, uh, but also a piece of art. So they're bought and sold online frequently with cryptocurrency. Yes, so even though you have an NFT, um, how do you buy the NFT? Majority of the time you can't buy it with uh, fiat currency, US dollars. Um, so you have to actually buy it with a specific cryptocurrency. Some of the most popular ones uh, are, are on the Ethereum network. Uh, like So if you're familiar with the NFT marketplace like OpenSea, um, that you could buy it through with Ethereum. So you have to own Ethereum first before you buy it. So one of my main recommendations is, especially if your NFT isn't go to auction, make sure that you have uh, enough, uh, depending on how much you want to spend, of that cryptocurrency. So when that auction goes live uh, and you're making your bet, you have uh, that cryptocurrency ready uh, to bid because if you don't, they're not going to let you bid. So uh, definitely that's part of doing your own research, figuring out what NFT you want to buy and then figuring out how to buy that. So if they're on different chains, I've actually been talking about a lot of NFT projects on the Solana blockchain. So uh, if you need to buy Solana blockchain, make sure you own SOL. Uh, but again, I assume you guys will do your own research on that. I do have uh, a video on how to buy NFTs, which uh, kind of goes over that. So check that out. Um, cool. Uh, and they're generally encoded with same underlying software as many cryptos again. So uh, if you're learning about how to mint NFTs that kind of take you through that process, uh, that's all things you just need to keep in mind. Although they've been around since 2014, yes, the concept of NFTs has been around. Obviously, the popularity of it hasn't really been, um, you know, hasn't been until like the last year or so. So maybe comment below the first NFT collection that you've heard of. For me, it was NBA Top Shot and um, CryptoPunks. I think I've heard about them at the same time. Uh, so let me know uh, what are the NFT collections that you first heard about. Uh, maybe it's something similar, maybe it's something totally obscure that I haven't heard about, put it in the comment below. NFTs are getting notoriety now because they've become an increasingly popular way to buy and sell digital artwork. It's popular because it's um, a good investment, people have made good money on it, and it's also a way for artists, content creators to uh, monetize uh, the artwork, which I think is great. That's why I'm a, I talk a lot about NFT projects, I talk about a lot of NFT marketplaces, I just really like the fact that artists can have a new way of making money and they don't have to be starving artists or you know only do commissions and things like that. Um, having a new way and a safe way to get their art 
um, you know, and make money for it, uh, you know, post it on marketplaces and make money for it, I think is uh, really important. And I think it's good. Like I said, I did an interview, uh, interviewing two NFT artists, and I kind of threw out the question like, hey, how has NFTs changed your life? Is it like life changing? And I was kind of throwing that question out. And both their answers were, yeah, it is life changing because it's opening up a lot of opportunities for them. So even though it's been around since 2014, it's um, you know really popularizing now, which is a great thing. A staggering 250 million has been spent on NFTs since November 2017. So uh, maybe I'm even late to the parties that I've only heard about for the last year, but uh, it's been great that um, you know more and more people have been spending on this. So it's awesome. Uh, NFT properties. So what makes an NFT an NFT? Each token has a unique identifier. Again, similar to a crypto. There's when you mint it. There's a specific. Uh, how many digit code is that 20 30 digit code that's applied to it to you know really show that you are the owner of it and it you know whether it's in your wallet um, etc that you how you own that so whether it's a one-on-one or uh, you own it uh, based off a specific collection it you have a specific uh, number associated with it each token has an owner and easy verifiable so again crypto is transparent blockchain transparent so it's very important to know uh, the ownership of it and again if you are selling or trading it you can track where it has been uh, i've talked about i forgot the project but i've talked about projects where uh where people were selling an nft and once the nft was um held by like a celebrity uh it like increased its value by like 100x and then obviously when it sold uh it was just known as obviously that nft but also by the previous owners which uh, increased the value so i think it's great uh, run on ethereum and can be bought and sold on any ethereum based nft market again uh this example was only for specifically for ethereum but uh there's other blockchains like solana which are um coming um and have been in the newer in this space but do have a lot of nft collections on that Ethereum is just the most popular, especially if you look at any NFT marketplace, Rarible, OpenSea, they use uh, Ethereum. When you own an NFT, no one can manipulate in any way. Again, it's a digital asset online. It can be altered, uh, etc. You can sell it, and in some cases, the original owner will earn resale royalties. That goes back to my like tracking, where you could track the original owner. Sometimes uh, some NFT marketplaces you know, give you royalties for like the original owner. So that's like that example that I gave where a celebrity bought it. If that NFT was getting royalties, that original artist will be um, getting kickback. So they'll be getting more. That's kind of incentive for them to obviously, you know, mint and sell the NFT collections, but, um, you know, to get their artwork out there and keep pushing it, even though it's all potentially been sold. Um, I think it's super valuable and I think it's a great way to really incentivize artists to, uh, make some really unique stuff. You can hold it in your assets secured by your wallet on Ethereum. Again, you hold it in your wallet, similar to any cryptocurrency. Again, if uh, in this case, I'm using Ethereum, but depending on the cryptocurrency it's based off, that's where you do it. Um, when you create an NFT, you can easily prove you're the creator. Again, transparent, blockchain, etc. That's why people like to do it because they can, you have your profile, you post it on the NFT marketplace, people can see the collection you've made, the people who bought it, which auctioning for, etc. You determine the scarcity, your artwork, right? You want to make it one of a thousand, and a thousand people can have it, or one of one, right? Or you want to make, which is really popular, is where you make a specific, like, uh, it could just be a person, but then you add different attributes to it to make it unique. And so it could have, even though you have a thousand of them, each one of them can be unique and have a thousand different attributes, similar to like CryptoPunks. They're all in the same profile picture, um, fashion, but they all um, have different attributes which make them valuable uh, and unique in their own way. You can earn royalties every time it's sold. Again, uh, more incentive. You can also set how much resale royalties for every time it's sold. Again, a lot of uh, opportunities and ways to, um, you know, alter this to fit the artist, to, f to fit the, um, you know, what really what they want, how they want to do it. If an artist is just releasing set after set, maybe they want to keep it um, pretty rare. As the NFT collection gets more popular, the price will continue to rise. So I think that's great. So that is an NFT, and that's what an NFT is, a non-fungible token. Again, if you guys want to learn more, I have other videos on how to buy, sell, trade, mint, uh, maybe I'll get an artist to show you guys uh, his process. Again, I did an interview with a couple artists in the past, but I do think it's great. I definitely want to do more of these videos talking about NFTs. I'm definitely going to feature more NFT collections. Again, do your own research for investing in those collections, but I do think there's a bunch of great collections out there. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys thought this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments if there's other additional crypto education videos you guys want me to do. But thanks so much for watching. Catch you guys next time. <laughs>